The bunting has been hung. The players have been introduced. The anthem has been sung. Time for the proverbial bell to ring. Opening day 2023. Mets and Marlins first pitch coming up for the Marlins. He's the ace of the staff and the face of the organization. Sandy Alcantara takes the ball today. Ready for another payoff pitch. That one up the middle. Backhanded arise makes the play. So that's kind of the funky play right that last few years we might see that just be uh, tailor made up the middle ground ball. Now there's action involved. Absolutely. This is why everybody's looking for athletic uh, style infielders two out. Here's the three two pitch. It swung on and missed strike three got him with a fastball and Sandy Alcantara retires the Mets in order. Well Max Scherzer you see his Toyota numbers last year so he had on many of the peripherals one of his best seasons in the major leagues but not a complete season twice on the disabled list missed seven weeks the first time. Here's the 1 0 pitch from Scherzer and he hits it down the left field line that's a base hit for Luis Arise. That chases Mark Canna into foul territory. It's a leadoff single for Luis Arise here at the bottom of the first inning. And that's what they brought that man over from Minnesota to do. Max knocks it down. Lindor with the turn in time for the 1 6 3 double play. Scherzer didn't panic after he didn't pick that ball cleanly. Knew he still had enough time to turn it, and they did. 1 2 from Scherzer. And Cooper chases the slider for strike three, and Scherzer has his first strikeout of the day. Nobody on and two out. No score. Top of the second inning. Here's Mark Canna. He swings and hits it on the ground. High chop for Segura. He backs up. Long throw to first is low, and they got him at first base. I see you, Coop. That's a beautiful pick by Garrett Cooper over at first. So there's four years removed now from his 48 home run season. And Scherzer goes to the slider. He went around strike three. And he's got that slider working. Pitch that he'll only throw to right-hand batters. Breaking ball popped up right side of the infield. Jeff McNeil, the second baseman on the dirt, right of the bag, makes the two-hand catch, side retired. Nothing across, the end of two. Mets nothing, Marlins nothing. Daniel Vogelback leads off in the third against Sandy Alcantara, who's retired the first six. And Alcantara walks him on four pitches. Not going on the 2-2 pitch to Escobar. Swings through that changeup. Second strikeout for Sandy. That's the, the impressive thing about Sandy Alcantara. He has so many weapons. So now the new addition to the Mets lineup, Omar Nervaez. That's drilled into right field and the Mets have their first hit. Vogel back around second. He'll be able to go first to third. And the Mets have runners at the corners with one out. Omar Narvaez in his first at bat as a Met drills a base hit. And the Mets have their first scoring opportunity of the day. So now Nimmo with an RBI chance. 2-2 coming. Line the other way right at De La Cruz who makes the catch. Vogelback's going to try and score. The throw by De La Cruz to the plate. Not in time. And now hung up between first and second is Escobar. And the toss to Cooper, who's going to try and chase him down, and he'll make the tag on Narvaez to end the inning. It's a sacrifice fly for Nimmo to score the game's first run, but Narvaez caught in the rundown. De La Cruz, Jacob Stallings, and Joey Wendell to follow. And a swing and a miss made him look bad for strike three. Third strikeout for Scherzer, who's now retired six in a row after giving up a leadoff hit. The pitch timer in spring training, it seemed like Max was really trying to test the boundaries of it. And he struck him out with a fastball. Back to back strikeouts for Scherzer to start the third. Bouncing ball. Lindor has to go to nice. his right. Nice backhand pick, and he throws out Wendell to end the inning. Nicely done by Lindor. And Scherzer has faced the minimum over three. 1 0 New York. Now McNeil, who flied to center his first time up. 1 1 pitch. Here it is. McNeil swings and lines it. Caught by Garrett Cooper. Cooper just made a diving catch to his left. Jeff McNeil, halfway down the first baseline. Just slammed his bat in his helmet right into the ground. That would have been another run right there. Here's Garrett Cooper batting. Segura is at first. The righty against righty. Scherzer on corks. The pitch grounded towards Lindor at short. He flips to second one. McNeil to first. Double play. Inning over. Looks like Vogelback and probably Tommy Pham will split the DH duties. Ground ball to first. Diving this guy. by Cooper. Go to your left. Go to your right. <laughs> nice going, Garrett Cooper. I tell you what, when you play behind Sandy Alcantara, you got to be ready. You're going to get ground balls. He's working quickly. So super job by Coop. One ball and one strike to Eduardo Escobar. Back to Sandy. Gets a good hop and gets back on track with a quick one, two, three, fifth inning. Well, right now I want to see if Marte's situational hits here. He's got a big hole between first and second. 
Marte walked and stole the bases last time up, and he hits one back up the middle. That's a base hit. Nimmo around second. He'll go to third. Chisholm's going to make the throw to third base, and it gets on by. That enables Marte to go to second as Alcantara backs up the play. And the Mets have two in scoring position with one out. It'll be a single for Marte, an error on Chisholm, allowing him to move up. The door at the plate, Alonzo on deck. Mets with a chance to expand on their 1-0 lead. Here's the pitch. Swing on a high fly ball. Well hit to center. Chisholm going back. It'll score a run onto the edge of the track. He makes the catch. Nimmo tags. Scores from third. Tagging at second. Going to third is Marte. Sacrifice fly for Francisco Lindor. Marte the runner at third. Now Alonzo at first. And Jeff McNeil who's 0 for 2 the batter. What's going on? They're going to reset the pitch clock because it took Alonzo time to get back right. to first base. Oh I like the call that. Did they call a, a ball because Alonzo took his time going back to first maybe they called, they called the strike. a strike called it a strike oh I don't know about that well, how can how can McNeil they're get, supposed get to wait for the for the base runners to get within reasonable distance of the base before they reset the clock well that's a mistake by Vanover and his crew if they, if they call a strike on him one two coming to McNeil and he bounces one toward the middle of the diamond a rise can't get it base hit Marte's in to score. Alonzo goes to third. Jeff McNeil with an RBI single, and it's 3 0 New York. Well, McNeil found the space between the middle infielders, and he drives in the third Met run. I've got the ball up right there. No sink at all. He's such a clutch hitter. And that's going to be all for Sandy Alcantara. The Marlins could desperately use a leadoff base runner. They haven't had one since the first. To Stallings. This one. Out toward left center field. That's going to one hop off the wall. Stallings into second base. A little tough time out there for Nimmo, but still a two base hit for Jacob Stallings. A good way to start the sixth. Here is a rise, nothing in one. One for two against Max today. And this one toward right center. Marte giving chase. Won't get there. All the way to the wall. Stallings is going to score. And Luis Arise has his first Marlins RBI. Miami's on the board. It's three to one. A good start for his Marlins career. Here's Garrett Cooper. He's 0 for 2 this afternoon. Struck out in the first inning. This one's hit well. Right center carrying home run. Garrett Cooper to tie it up in the six. But I said turn around. Defense to offense. So he got himself locked in to Max Scherzer. Got the pitch that he wanted and showed off. The oppo power. Here's Escobar turning around about right handed against Scott. That's lined to left field, sinking fast, and De La Cruz trapped it. That's a base hit for Escobar. Nice effort by De La Cruz and a nice selling job, too. But the third base umpire, Edwin Moscoso, went out quickly and immediately signaled trap. It's a walk to Narvaez, and the Mets have two men on. Here's Nimmo with two on. Leg lift, 1 1. Nimmo guides one to right center field, falling fast, down, base hit. Escobar rounds third. He heads home to score. The ball rolling to the wall. Narvaez takes the turn around third. He heads home. Here's the throw. Here's the slide. Narvaez is in safely. Nimmo's at second. The Mets take the lead. 5-3 New York in the top of the seventh inning. Brandon Nimmo comes through on opening day. Now Joey Corrin never hesitated in sending Narvaez around. We told you that the Miami Marlins have some guys not only playing out of positions, but there aren't a tremendous amount of great arms out there. David Robertson was brought in here on a one-year deal, presumably to take Seth Lugo's spot in the bullpen. <laughs> Instead, he's taking Edwin Diaz's spot. 2-2 two -two coming. And Cooper goes down to swing and miss strike three. So Cooper retired one out of the ninth. Jazz Chisholm coming up. 2-2 two -two to Chisholm. Struck him out. Got him on the slider. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Robertson. A dozen for the Mets. And the Marlins down to their final out. 3-1 pitch. Swinging a high fly ball to right. That should do it. Moving towards the line. Marte, he's under it. Makes the one-hand catch. Put it in the books. Opening day is New York Mets day as usual another opening day win for the Mets 41 of their last 54 season openers has resulted in Mets victory and so it was today here at Lone Depot Park David Robertson picks up his first save as a New York Met behind Solaire three balls no strikes got a called strike and the fly ball to ride ends it. And the Mets have themselves a 5-3 win.